this class definitely struggles with what an important word is, what is keyword. That's why we isolate the 10 most important ones because they think lots of words, you know, if it's a big word, it's important. Or if it's um, an interesting word, then it's important. And they're not always thinking about how it connects to the main idea. So that's a big thing we're working on is isolating what are actually important words versus, you know, words that we like or words that are interesting to them. I think it helps the kids just get a, a good picture of that word and a strong understanding of it. It helps me know that they're um, relating that word to erosion and um, can sort of interrelate two concepts. I have three or four students who really struggle with um, making meaning from text, so it really gets them to isolate what what's being said, what it means, and how it's important for their lesson. So today we're going to be working with the Sum It Up strategy again. We're going to be still talking about changes in the Earth's surface, but today our focus is going to be on weathering instead of erosion. When we do the Sum It Up, what's the first thing that we do when you use the Sum It Up strategy? Just the first step, Sam? Mm. The first step is to find when you're reading in your textbook, you find all of the um, important words and write it down on the lines. Great. And then what's step number two? This is the one we've been doing together as a class. Lee? Circling ten words so you can write some words. Okay, circling our ten most important words. And then what's step three, Mariah? Um, after you're done, if you can, after you circle ten words, you can add words that you, didn't, you still think it's important. Okay, so we're going to make our summary, right? Using the 10 essential words plus whichever words you feel are also important. So, go through, you've got two pages to read and select keywords. When you're finished, remember you can quietly turn your sheet over and draw on the back until everyone's ready to pick out our 10 essential words. So here's the part where we're going to share our words. So remember, as we go around, I'm going to get one word from each kid, and then we'll go around a second time. Don't forget to check off the words that we've already used, okay, okay. so we don't get too many repeats. Sylvia, give us our first word. Features. Features, that's a good one. Leah? Broken. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick out the 10 most essential ones by voting, right? Mm -hmm. Any word that gets a unanimous vote, that it is very, very important for our summary, we're going to circle until we get 10 words. Keep in mind, our topics are changes in the Earth's surface, that's one big idea, and what weathering is, right? How many kids think features would be a key word? How about weathering? Yep. How about rocks? Drops. And wind. Okay, how do we do? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're going to hear erosion. I think rocks is very important. Erosion. Yeah. Erosion and years. I hear rocks, Maybe erosion, and years. Erosion. Oh. Which one was part of the definition for weathering? When we look at the blog Rocks. Rocks was actually in the glossary definition, so I think that's right. That one's probably important. So we have our ten essential words. Remember, these are the words you must use in your summary. We decided this class that they're the most important words for the main idea. That doesn't mean you can't use the other words, right? So using these ten plus whatever words you'd like, make your summary. Remember last time we did this, we had kids adding lines and lines and lines and lines and lines, yeah. Yeah. and they had like three extra sentences. Today we're going to try and stick with the lines. I think you have 24 words you can use. If you need an extra two or three, that's okay, but not two or three extra lines, okay? All right, please make your summaries. Okay, it looks to me 
like we've got our summaries mostly written. Does anyone want to share them? My three is the breaking and changing of rocks that get chipped away by wind, water, and ice. Weathering is when water and ice break rocks. Land form is forced into changing. Wind and earth have lots of force. The water and ice break. What do they break, Sylvia? If you had two more lines, what could you write? Water and ice break. The fourth. What do they break? The rocks. One thing I heard in everybody's summary is what weathering is. Weathering is the breaking and changing of rocks. Another important thing I heard in most of those summaries was what are the forces that are doing the changing, right? Sylvia, what's one? Ice. Ice. All right, does this summary, weathering is the breaking and changing of rocks. The forces that cause weathering are ice, water, wind, trees, and more. They change Earth's landforms. Does that tell about the main ideas in this selection? Yeah. Yeah. If you read that summary, would you say, okay, that's what I'm going to learn about today? Uh -huh. What weathering is, how it changes the Earth. All right, great. Your next job is going to be to hand these in. You need to fill out your triple entry journal, include weathering. So you need a definition and a picture that describes weathering. And as Leah and Nathan both have sort of time lapse pictures, so they have a picture in the beginning, like a before and after weathering. So a rock that's whole and then a rock after it's broken. As long as they're being successful, they do really well, which is another reason this strategy works quite well with them because they can do it and it's manageable. I think if I handed this class piece, a blank piece of paper and said, summarize what you've learned, um, I'd get a lot of drawings or a lot of off-topic things. So it helps them sort of put into a box what they know and they feel successful with it. So they're more um, inclined to stay engaged. We have our literacy strategy of the month, or we have two each month that we try to employ, but we end up using them much more than that just because they are so effective, and the kids know them, and they like them, and they, they can use them as tools for themselves.